First thing we'll have to do, we will remove the plate from the end opposite the motor. We'll get our ratchet strap, which on this one you can hook it to the cassette itself or the strap back to itself. And roll the rotor into place. Got to be careful not to bang the faces around either direction. Slack out. Again, just put a little bind on it. Make sure that our strap is centered on the rotor. On both sides, so that we're going to pick it up nice and evenly. And we can go ahead and start cranking up on the ratchet. And we'll pick it up just like before and make sure that we can align the shaft bolts. And we'll do the same thing on the other face. Install the shaft bolt. And we can go ahead and remove the and again, we're going to check the alignment in both planes, vertical and horizontal, to ensure that we have the same gap on both faces. And again, we also want to keep an eye on it as we tighten the shaft bolt down that it doesn't shift on us. Which, if need be, we can hold just a little tension on it. As we tighten. Now we'll go over the other face of the rotor. Do the final tensioning on the shaft bolt, and now we've got it installed square on both planes. Now we'll go over installing a drive belt on the 100 millimeter energy recovery cassette. Got your belt already with the clip installed on one end. Just a piece of masking tape. Tape it to the rotor. And we can rotate it around, making sure that we keep the dry belt laying nice and flat, no twists or curls in it. Now we will go ahead and wrap it around the drive pulley. See where the seam is. We're going to want to cut just a couple of holes back from that for this particular size. Again, be conservative when cutting. You can always cut again. And we just want to make sure that we cut right in the center of a hole when we cut our drop belt. Okay. A small Phillips screwdriver. And we'll attach the belt clip to the other end of the belt we just cut. Push us through the hole in the drive belt and attach us to the plate beneath. Now we'll go through trying to stretch the belt and rotate the wheel around and continue stretching the belt. we've gone around a full revolution. Now at this point when we hold the belt down, when you have the proper length, it should be about even with the center of the motor shaft. We'll take a long flathead screwdriver and make sure that we get it down flat inside the drive pulley. If you turn it sideways it will bend the lip of that drive pulley and you'll have to replace it. So very carefully we'll just pry down slightly on the belt against the drive pulley and rotate it until the belt snaps in. 
Now we'll rotate it one full revolution around to allow the belt to align itself. And then check that we have proper tension. So that should be fine. No issues with that drive. And frankly, that usually you shouldn't have to retension these um, due to how small they are. You don't you typically get that much stretch out of them. But you know, our, our regular maintenance, you know, we do want to check them monthly. For additional energy recovery product information, please reference the ER tech manual on our website.